Hello and welcome to the Coding Bytes. This is our today's question. So in this question, you are given a PAN card number and you have to check whether that PAN card number is valid or not. So generally a PAN number is a mixture of both number and alphabets. So the condition is that the PAN card must be of 10 characters and in these 10 characters, the first five characters should be uppercase and the next four should be numbers and the last one should be uppercase. So if the PAN card doesn't match the pattern, then you have to print invalid PAN number. So as you can see in sample input one, we have a PAN card number which has exactly 10 characters and the starting five characters are uppercase and the next four are numbers. So in this case, we have a valid PAN card number. So in this case, we will display valid PAN number. And as you can see in the sample input two, it doesn't match the required condition. So we will display invalid PAN number. Now before directly moving to the solution, let's first see the logic to solve this problem. So in this problem, you have four conditions here. First of all, the length of the PAN number, which is a string here, should be exactly equal to 10. The second condition is, first five characters of it. That means from index zero to index four, all these characters should be capital letters. And the next condition is the next four elements should be number. That means from the index five to index eight, all of these should be numbers. And the last condition is that last character must be a capital letter. So if our input matches all these four conditions, that means it is a valid PAN number. So the easiest solution to this problem can be we can simply use a for loop and we can traverse through this input string which is a pan number and we can see whether from index 0 to index 4 all the characters are uppercase. If any of them founds to be not uppercase character then we can simply display invalid pan number before moving forward or if we found all the characters uppercase then we can move to the next condition. Now from index 5 to 8 we can check whether we have the characters as number or anything else. If we have numbers, then we are all good. And if we have any other thing than numbers, so we can simply display invalid PAN number and we don't need to go forward. But in case if they are numbers, so we need to check one last condition, which is the last character must be an uppercase or a capital letter. If all of these conditions get satisfied, that means we have a valid PAN number. So we can simply display valid PAN number. Now let's see the solution in C language first and then we will see this solution in Java and Python as well. So this is the program in C language. Now here, first of all, I have created a character array. Here I am assuming that the maximum length of the PAN number can be 50 in case if the user gives the wrong or invalid PAN number. So after this using get as function, I am taking the input from user and storing it inside the Pen. Now after this I have an if condition. Now in this if condition I am simply checking whether the length of this pen number is 10 or not. If the length of this pen number is not equal to 10 then we will simply display invalid pen number and here using exit 0 our program will be terminated. Now in case the user enter a pen number of exactly 10 characters. So in that case this for loop will be executed. So this is the main logic to solve this problem. First of all, inside this for loop, I have a variable i which is initialized with value 0 and I have given a condition i less than 10 because our if condition is false. That means the pen number will have exactly 10 characters. So after this, I have i++. Now once I enter this loop, first of all, this if condition will be executed. Now in this condition, I'm simply checking for the first five characters. And with this, I have given another condition, which is pen of i less than a or pen of i greater than z. That means each character from index zero to index four must be between a to z. If they are not between a to z, then this condition will be true. So if this condition is true, then this message invalid pen number will be displayed on the screen and the program will be terminated. Now, similarly, after this, we have this condition inside else if, if i is greater than four and i is less than equals to eight. That means from index five to eight, we are checking the next four characters. And if they are not between 48 and 57, then this else if condition will become true. So in that case, we will again display the message invalid pen number and using exit, the program will be terminated. Now, one last time we will check if I double equals to nine. That means this is the last character of the pen number and it is not between A and Z. That means if it is less than A or greater than Z, so it simply means that it is not an uppercase letter. So in that case also, we will display invalid pen number. Now, if we come out of this loop, that means all these three conditions are not executed. So in that case, we have a valid pen number. So we will display valid pen number. 
Now let's execute this program and here I am giving a PAN card number. So as you can see this is a valid PAN card number of 10 characters and the first 5 characters are uppercase and the next 4 are numbers and the last one is also an uppercase. So for this PAN number we are getting valid PAN number. Now solving such kind of problems in Java is much more easier as compared to C language. So here first of all I have created a class and inside this class I have method public static void main and inside public static void main I have a scanner object to accept input from user. Now after this using kb.next I am taking the input from user and storing it in pen. Then these four lines will simply decide whether our pen number is valid or not. So here in this if condition I am simply checking whether our pan card matches this particular regular expression. So this is a regular expression and using this method matches we are matching our pan number with this regular expression. So how this regular expression works? So this simply checks that our starting first characters must be a to z between a to z that means they must be uppercase and the next four characters must be 0 to 9 that means they must be numbers and one last character must also be between a to z so if all these conditions matches that means our pan card is valid so we will display valid pan number otherwise we will display invalid pan number so now let's execute this program and this time i am giving a invalid pan number so as you can see for this pan number we are getting output invalid pan number here in Python also the solution for such kind of problems are easily implemented using the libraries of Python. So here first of all I have imported a module called RE which means regular expression and using input method I am taking the input from user and storing it inside pen. Now after this using this third line result equals to re.compile so we are simply saying that make a regular expression of this kind that means first five characters must be uppercase and the next must be numbers and the last must be a to z which is also uppercase. So this line will simply set a regular expression for us and this result will be stored in the variable result and after this using if condition we will check that result dot match pen that means if this particular regular expression matches this pen number so we will display valid pen number or if this doesn't match so we will display invalid pen number. So now let's run this program and see how it works. Here I am giving a pan number. So as you can see this is an invalid pan number. So for this we are getting an output invalid pan number. Now if I again run this and this time I am giving another pan number. Now this time I am getting valid pan number because this pan number is a valid one. So I hope you have understood the explanation. If you have any doubt, you can ask me in the comment section and also do not forget to subscribe the Coding Bytes. Thank you.